my constant reference has really just been what's, you know, who's, as I said before, who's my congregation. Yeah, Creator is a song which, uh, in a sort of a very embryonic form, particularly that little funny pluck guitar sequence that we actually, I actually used that used to use that in a in a band I was in in, uh, in Nottingham, and I just thought, gosh, that would make a great a great worship song, and uh, and so the, actually the mood and the idea for the lyric actually just came from the sound of that guitar part, and uh, I just love the way that music sort of makes you feel and makes you emotional and uh, I just thought gosh there's a real vibe of kind of like uh, just the creator God that's kind of what I was feeling when I sort of played that but then when I looked at the context of my church I really wanted the song to help just inform people about who is their creator God and um, you know that th they're fearfully and wonderfully made and, it, and it's an amazing uh, thing to be made and known by by your creator Vineyard in Belfast, we've been on an incredible journey of intimacy with Jesus and I suppose when we started the church early days we would have thought that because we were a vineyard we somehow naturally inherited or had the rights to intimacy with Jesus and in worship. But actually we have really had to own this ourselves and we have had to fight for it. We have had to contend for that place of deep intimacy with Jesus and it's been so incredible. It's been a challenge personally. We've battled a lot of illness and uh, real, real challenging stuff and yet from that has come this, this real hunger and this real desire and I think we're only really in the beginnings of, of really being desperate for God's kingdom to break out, for His Spirit to move in our worship. In that song, I Respond, it's, a, it's as the title suggests, a response song and my, my hope and my prayer is that we would be a community of people that are continually responding and are continually washed and made new and cleansed and experiencing Jesus and filled with His Spirit. And the um, exciting thing for me has been that at least one person has met Jesus for the very first time in that song, has had an encounter, a revelation of who Jesus is, without someone having to come along and preach the gospel necessarily, they just had an encounter with Jesus and met him right then and there, which is something I've been praying for and longing for for a long time. So we, we love the value of vineyard, we love the value of authenticity, we love the intimacy, but yet I think what we, we really long for in our community of faith was something that was vibrant mm -hmm. and maybe a little more raw uh, and it just gave a, just gave a sense of who we were and uh, uh, an organic feel to it. Yeah. So we we knew Andy from Causeway Coast Vineyard. Uh, we knew his style. We knew some of the, how he led worship, and it just really fitted what we had in mind. So when we, we approached Andy and Andy and Claire, because they both had a worship for us, um, it was a case of feeling that we were getting the right person for the right seat. But also then with that, then we give the leadership away. We say this is the remit, general remit, but you go do it. You know, and we do that with all our ministries and that we, we trust that if the, the abilities and the talents and the gifts that the people have, plus as well as that, it's a case of, you know, um, yeah, we just trust them to do what, we've, what we're asking them to do and uh, let them get on with it. So Andy really has had a very much a free reign, which is great, because then he gets to be creative and he gets to lead it as he's called to lead it as opposed to being very heavily controlled by us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fair? I suppose that journey brought us to, to where we are today. Yeah. Whereas in, you know, there was none of this plan. We didn't say that let's let's write songs, let's year two we'll do a CD and we'll approach whatever. But it was basically birthed out of who we were, we're a community of faith that's outward focused. Mm -hmm. And God really put it on our hearts that we would uh, to go after the poor and the broken and the marginalised. 
The song "Glorified" uh, for me is is uh, I, I really like that song because uh, it was actually when Jeremy Cook was speaking and saying, um, you know, people should read the book uh, "Cross of Christ" by John Stott, and I thought, oh, gosh, I haven't read that. You know, I suddenly felt, my goodness, I think I need to go read this book, and uh, and I read it, and and basically there was this thing like I think it was called like the four precepts of the cross, the four main points of the cross. And, and that and those four those four elements that Christ died for the sins of mankind, Christ died to give the gift of salvation, and and, uh, and I just took those four things and then wrote the verse the verses of those songs based around that, and then I just thought, gosh, what can we respond to with that? And it's just it's just glory, it's amazing glory, glorifying Christ with what He's done. So just that song was just a, a very enjoyable exercise of being challenged about something and then writing a song about it. And the first time that we did it in our congregation, just people really uh, took off with it. And it's just, it's just, a, you know, just excited.